Hello Tagum City, Hello La Filipina National High School, and Hello Students, especially to our viewers in our official Facebook page and listeners in 98.3 Gold FM. Good day! I am Connie Cecil B. Lumapas, your teacher host. Today, we will going to discuss the factors affecting climate together with Ma'am Grisel J. R. Nerosa. So what are we waiting for? I will now turn you over to Teacher Grace. Good day, students. Welcome to another adventure in Science 9. Before we proceed to our discussion, let's have first an activity entitled Word Scramble. You're going to arrange the letters to get the correct word. I will give you 5 seconds in each item. First, letters I, A, E, C, L, M, T. Again, I, A, E, C, L, M, T. The correct answer is climate. Second, we have letters A, I, U, E, D, T, T, L. Again, A, I, U, D, E, T, T, L. For our clue, the distance from the equator. The correct answer is latitude. Third, letters A, I, U, E, D, T, T, L. Again, A, I, U, E, D, T, T, L. Clue, the height above sea level. The correct answer is Altitude. Have you been to Baguio? Why is it that during summer, many people visit Baguio City? Our lesson for this day is all about the factors that affect climate. Let's have first our objectives. First, identify the factors that affect climate. Second, Explain how different factors affect the climate of an area. And third, recognize the factors that affect the climate in our area. What is climate? Climate is the overall condition of an area over a long period of time. The factors that affect climate first is the latitude or the distance from the equator. And uh, latitude is the line parallel to the equator and equator is the one that separates the northern and the southern hemisphere places that are near from the equator received directly the sun rays that's why the climate near the equator is warmer and those places that are far from the equator will have a colder climate in other words the, as the latitude increases, the climate becomes colder. If the place is near the equator, the climate will, be, will have warmer climate. Second factor is topography. Topography is the arrangement of the natural and artificial physical features of an area. One example of topographical feature is the mountain. Mountain has two sides, the windward and the leeward. The windward is the one facing the wind and has low temperature. The clouds are forming here due to the condensation of water vapor. This formation develops cloud to become rain. On the other side of the mountain, there is no cloud formation. The temperature is high and precipitation does not happen. This results in the formation of a dry and warm region. The dry region on the leeward side is called rain shadow. Another factor is called altitude. Altitude is the height above sea level. Mount Kilimanjaro is located in Africa and found near the equator. 
So, kay located man siya sa equator, expected nga init ang ilahang klima. It stands 5,895 meters above sea level. The peak of this mountain is covered by ice. Pero nga nung gitabunan man og ice ang ibabaw sa mountain. This is because the, te the air temperature does decreases as the altitude increases. Why is it that during summer many people visit Baguio City? Obviously, the reason is the cold climate there. Another is it has an annual average temperature of 16 degrees Celsius and it has an elevation of 1,435 meters above sea level. So always remember, as the altitude increases, the temperature decreases. Another factor is the distance from the sea. The climate of the place is influenced by the surrounding bodies of water. Soil absorbs heat faster than the water. At the same time, soil releases heat faster compared to the water. So, mas dali mo init o mabugnaw ang yuta kumpara sa tubig. This slow absorption and release of heat by the body of water greatly affect the climate. Places that are near from the ocean have moderate climate as the body of water regulates the temperature. Even as both soil and water absorbs the same amount of heat, the temperature of water rises more slowly than that of soil. Because of soil heats up faster than water, the air temperature above the sea is lower than the above ground during daytime. Warm air thus moves out from land to sea, slowing down the rise of air temperature above land. Thus, places without a body of water nearby tend to have higher air temperature during daytime. At night, soil cools down faster than water, so the air temperature above ground is lower than above the sea. Warm air then flows from sea to land, so the drop in air temperature above ground is moderated. Places that are far from the bodies of water have extreme climates as there are no immediate bodies of water that will help to circulate the movement of cold air and warm air. One example is the British Isles and the Moscow. British Isles is surrounded by bodies of water while Moscow is far from the ocean. Places that are near from the ocean has moderate temperature. British Isle has a maximum temperature of 17 degrees Celsius, while the minimum average temperature is 0 degrees Celsius. While Moscow has a maximum average temperature of 21 degrees Celsius, and the minimum temperature is negative 8 degrees Celsius. So places that are near from the ocean has moderate climate, and places that are far from the ocean has extreme climates. Another factor is ocean currents are a continuous and directed movement of the ocean water. In the northern hemisphere, the current flows in a clockwise direction. On the other hand, in the southern hemisphere, the current flows in counterclockwise direction. These clockwise and counterclockwise direction of ocean currents are caused by the Coriolis effect. Ocean current that flow away from the equator carries warm water. Thus, the air above the warm water has higher temperature. When the ocean currents that bring cold water moves toward the coastal region, the temperature of that area decreases as the warmer air from the land flows to the sea resulting to a cold climate. When warm ocean currents that take along warm water go to a land mass, the temperature of that place increases as warmer air above the water flows inland, resulting in a warm climate. Let's check your learnings by answering the assessment. Question number one. It refers to the atmospheric condition of a place over a long period of time. Again, 
it refers to the atmospheric condition of a place over a long period of time. A. Climate B. Monsoon C. Weather D. Topography Number 2. What happens to the temperature of air when altitude increases? Again, what happens to the temperature of air when altitude increases? A. Varies B. Increases C. Decreases D. Remains the same Number 3 which is not a factor that influences temperature? Again, which is not a factor that influences temperature? A. Longitude B. Altitude C. Latitude D. Ocean Currents Number 4. Why do places at the same latitude but different altitudes have different climates? Again, why do places at the same latitude but different altitudes have different climates? A. The amount of heat received varies. B. The amount of precipitation differs. C. The higher altitudes have lower temperature. Or D. The higher altitude have higher temperature. Number 5. Which side of the mountain often received, receives the most precipitation? Again, which side of the mountain often receives the most precipitation? A. Peak B. Rain Shadow C. Leeward Side or D. Windward Side Checking time Number 1 It refers to the atmospheric condition of a place over a long period of time The answer is Climate Number 2 What happens to the temperature of air when altitude increases? The answer is Decreases C Number 3 Which is not a factor that influences temperature? The answer is letter A, longitude. Number four, why do places at the same latitude but different altitudes have different climates? The answer is letter C, the higher altitude should have lower temperature. Number five, which sides of the mountain often receive the most precipitation? The answer is letter D, windward side. For your assignment, in our country, Philippines, choose a place and determine or tell what climate the area experiences, what factor or factors affect the climate of the area. Explain how these factors affect the climate of the area. And that's it. Thank you for watching and listening. Again, I'm your teacher broadcaster, Gracial Jean R. Nerosa. Until next time, bye! Thank you so much, Teacher Grace, for the very informative discussion about climate. I am sure that our students learn a lot. And also thank you so much to our listeners and viewers. For the watching and listening, see you next episode only here at Salida Teleradio in La Filipina National High School. Again, I am Teacher Connie Cecil B. Lumapas leaving you the code from Emma Thompson. Every single person on this earth has the power to change the world.